Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have a speaker here, Dynacord, it's just a passive speaker. Uh, looks like it's got a, just a speaker, like it's a subwoofer, there's no horn in here. And the power is not working. And sometimes you can fix these, even though it's just a speaker. If we're lucky, or just have a bad connection somewhere, if we're unlucky, then the coil will be burnt out in the speaker. And if we're medium lucky, then the coil will be burnt in the speaker, but we can actually fix it. So let's have a look. I'll connect a lead to it. Uh, put a lead into it. And let's just check what resistance we see across the speaker first. There's another possibility, of course, and that is this has a passive crossover in it, and the crossover is faulty, yeah. Let's have a quick look. So this is quite handy, just a speak on connector, which goes to a jack plug, which happens to have a couple of bits of wire on it. Useful test lead, that's all. So I often use this just for connecting my speakers, which don't have a speak on, to an amplifier, just to test it. And we're reading 7.7 .7 ohms, so that seems like pretty much okay to me. I wonder what's wrong with this thing. I have a little uh, amplifier here, just a single channel amp, which I can connect this to, which is another good reason for this lead. <laughs> and uh, let's just connect it up and see what it actually does first. So here it is, this is just a single channel amplifier, a mono amplifier, I think it's supposedly 300 watt, how real the watts are I don't know. Um, this is meant actually to attach like as a additional amplifier to jukeboxes and pubs, that's where it came from, out of a pub. It has left and right speaker terminals and it has like a left and right input, but in fact it's actually is mono. Uh, these things, uh, resistors, this had like a remote thing, like a volume control behind the bar, which was connected to here, but I don't have that, so I just strapped a couple of resistors. And that just effectively sets the volume of it. So let's connect our uh, lead. And let's see what it does. And you will find if you do the electronics repair, you need to keep things like this around the workshop because otherwise you can't work on this sort of stuff. So an old amplifier leads uh, a mixer. So I'm going to connect that to my mixer, to the PC, and let's see what happens. Okay, we'll go into the uh, left and right in. And I'll connect this to where my speakers normally connect. Let's uh, see what we get out of this. Let's switch it on. Heard a little rumble from the speaker, so something's going to come out of it. Let's get some audio. I'm expecting this just to give us bass, really. Sound muffled because there's no horn speaker in it. Wow, as I expected. Some uh, muffled sound, yeah. So, what's wrong with this thing? Well, I have to say guys, this thing's supposed to be faulty. Hmm, huh, it's interesting. Nope. Well, as you can see, it's basically doing what I would expect it to do with just the uh, bass speaker. I mean, we can just check to see if the cone effectively is all right. So, I mean, this may be failing when it gets to high volume, so we better have a quick look inside it, yeah? Oh, okay, so I have it opened up, and now I see the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's been giving this some welly. I don't think I can actually fix that. I don't even think putting um, like a silicone type thing on. So normally if I repair these, I actually cut around the 
dust cover and that can get to the coil so if it's like open circuit at one end I can fix it I've never ever seen one do this before uh, and you can see it's kind of fractured further around as well so that's what's wrong with it and I have to say in this instance this one isn't fixable uh, you can't fix everything guys but I thought you might be interested to see this I'll upload this because I've never seen that in my life before okay only way to fix this is going to be to replace the base driver <laughs> have you guys ever seen anything like that before I mean normally this is not making a scrunchy noise when I do this yeah so normally the coil will burn out and if it burns out you get like a when you're doing this it's effectively touching the former where the winding is like distorted or physically distorted yeah it's warped but this hasn't so the coil has quite happily taken it and the cone hasn't it's possible to recone these things but i don't think it's really worth it i think we probably better just get another speaker for this I'll send the owner uh, some photos of it <laughs> and the bill if he wants it fixing. Wonder what wattage this thing actually is. Oh, that doesn't easily want to even come out. Okay, find the best screw than that old thing find a decent one better okay what have we got it's heavy whoa it's a heavy one no markings on it no name on it i thought it might have some sort of brand on it oh well, there's something on the edge okay it's a 10 inch speaker i'm pretty much assuming eg 10 l uh, eg 10 l 8 ohm let's see if we can uh, find something like that yeah Oh, Dynacord EG10L speakers. Yeah. Can we buy these things? I don't think they're €1.64. Uh, try eBay. No, put, put the word speaker on. G10L Celestian. Well, it looks like these are not easy to find. Uh, guys, this does not look like it's going to be easy to find at all. Let's see if we find an equivalent. Well, those original ones seem to be really like unobtainium basically i can't find one for sale uh so uh thoman uh spanish site it's actually a german site but then delivered to spain they seem to have a suitable one which i think is the same rating 250 watts rms yeah 10 inch that one that's the same spec as far as i can tell they have a few others so i think i will just get in touch with these ask them about the cost of delivery to the canary islands and if they have any other advice okay so that goes to show guys i never know what i'm going to find when i make one of these videos <laughs> it is what it is um if anybody has any suggestions on repairing this i don't think this is going to be possible but i know some of you guys have more experience than me with these sort of things yeah so uh, let me know
And yeah, if there's something that can be done with this one, uh, then uh, we can do it on another video. Okay, hope you enjoyed it anyway, even though there wasn't much else to say about it. And I will see you all very soon on another Wedding Electronics Repair video. Ciao for now, guys. It's a short one.